So, gentlemen, welcome back to my shop. Okay, it's uh, ladies watching. So, hi, ladies. Okay, so now we have the Hitachi DH 40 ml Industrial. So, really nice tool. Why it's black, not a green? Because it was made for limited edition. I think in France, if I would remember, for some market, big market or something. Okay, so. I will try to figure out what wrong with it. So okay, normally for for tool like this, the hammering stuff for the carbon brush sense, or of course for the Hitachi, it's a cord problem. So okay, I will try to turn it on. It's not working. So okay, of course I can hear something moving inside this socket. Okay, we'll take the box for the tool. Okay, now I have the box for the part of the tool, so I will move the handle because it's really pitting me off. Okay. Okay, the handle is going out. Okay. Strange as something is inside moving, making some sound, so I will open the plug. Okay. Yep, it's <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you can see that it's tied with a wire or something. It's fucking silly. So, okay, that means we need a new plug. Okay, the new plug. I will do very simple thing with this one. And it's going to the recycle bin. Okay, now of course we need to check the cord. So it's simplest way to do that is to unscrew the two screws here on the handle. Okay, opening the collar, and we have the blue wire and the brown wire. Can disconnect them. Okay. So now we can check the cable with multimeter. We just need to check the resistance of it. Of course, you can check it on current, it's go through or not. Okay, now I will try the resistance. So, yeah, it goes on a blue wire and it goes on this one. So, now we can check the switch, it's simple. Okay, and we don't have the resistance on switch, so. Yep, it's a switch fault. It's no resistance on it, so we need new switch. Okay. So yeah, now we know that we need new switch. I will take the paper to write it down. So we unscrew it only two screws and we know that we need uh, <laughs> two parts. So it's a good beginning for us. Okay. Okay, so we can now continue doing what we do. Okay. So now we want to get to the here because the carbon brushes is here. Okay, we need to clean up screw it a little bit to get a, our bit inside. Okay. Now I will try to get bit inside and unscrew them. So on the two screws go in the bottom cover. Okay. 
So, two short screws. Okay, fuck, okay, we got it out. So, now we will check the carbon brushes. Of course, we can see the armature here. You can see the magnet. It must be good, healthy, not damaged. Okay, removing the brush cap. Remove the carbon brush, so... Yeah, definitely we need new carbon brush. You can see how it's melted here. It's because of the hard work, and the heavy duty. So we need new carbon brushes. And this brush really needs to be replaced. Okay. So what can we do now? Now we can remove the handle, it's on the six screws holding the handle, they are here. Okay, so, of course it's full of dirt. Okay, just cleaning the dirt from the screws. Okay, sorry, all the table is moving. Okay, so just taking out the screws. So the Hitachi tools are really great, they are last long so. I like them, they are powerful enough if you compare with the price. Because normally they are cheaper than Makita Bosch or, or Dewalt. And but they last longer. Of course that's only my opinion maybe, so you can tell your opinion in the comments of this video. So okay but for me the Hitachi is one of the best tools. When we talk about demolition tools, yeah, for example, this model is really nice, great, comfortable to hand for me, variable speed, can drill, can hammer, it's, it's really, really great. Okay, so it takes some time, but the screws are removed, so just removing the handle. Of course the controller unit are here. So first thing what I want to do is to separate the motor housing from the all the hammer housing. So I need to unscrew the button here, it's a tiny screw there. Okay. So just opening and screwing it's just a simple switch. Now I need to unscrew the four screws here. Okay, they are full of ground here, so I again need to clean it. Okay. Fuck, still can't get it. So that's why I'm always telling clean your tools. Okay. Okay, so now just opening the cover here. Okay, it's um, 
dirt again. Why? They are not cleaning it. Okay. So I will try to lift it with a screwdriver. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it here to move the housing a little bit. Okay. You can see how hard it's moving. Okay. I think now it will go up. Okay. Yes. It's up. So, what can we see inside from the first look? It's almost no grease here. It's bad thing, and we don't want to see that in the tool. So, but of course, sometimes it happens when the tool is working. The heat and the pressure, everything, getting the grease out of the tool. So, yeah, it's happening at time. Too far how hard it is. Okay. So now I need to unscrew the four screws here to take the armature out and then I will unscrew the second two screws. Okay, okay, okay. We are going the right way. Yeah, as you can see, I can make the drill or the angle grinder video for about 10 minutes or something for the hammer drill or a bigger tool. I need half an hour for the video maybe a little bit longer but still it's I think it's a good good time to show it for you because almost everyone can fix the drill on the, or the angle grinder it's harder with the tools like this where it's more parts it's harder to deassemble it and and so on so on so on of course it's many of important parts in it so Okay, now I will just try to take the armature out. So for that I think I will use the screwdriver, put it here in a hole and okay. And not press it because the fucking two screws are here. Okay, I need to unscrew them. Okay, the screw, 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 fucking screw. Okay. I'll try to unscrew it with the drill. I hope I will reach 5,000 subscribers so I can buy for me a new Makita combo kit. Okay. So, what we have here, we have separated the motor house from the Hammer housing, okay. Now it's a good limiter. I will try to take it out. Okay, maybe I will try to do that with two screwdrivers. Okay, we'll try to hold it like that. Okay, so it's out, of course, a flat washer. Okay, it's a flat washer here, so I'm inserting it back. Okay, what I want to see on this one, I want to check the ball bearings of it, so they are perfect. Okay, of course the gears. Now they seem to be very good. Okay, so I'm wrapping it with the paper, putting everything in the box, okay. Now I need to remove the armature, so I will use the screwdriver here. Okay. And what we have here, let's get out, fuck you, fuck her, okay. So, for some reason it's not going out, I will try to move it back on and forward, ok, 
Okay. Okay, so it can be a problem that it's not going out. Okay, I see that uh, you can see here that the cover, plastic dust cover, is melted a little bit and it's touching the touching the armature. So it's hard to get it out. But of course, in case like this, you must to get it out to check it. Whew. Okay, so. Now we need to check the armature if it's good or not. Of course, the ball bearing, we can hear the sound of the ball bearing. It's dry without the grease, it's not wobbling, so we can grease it with a ball bearing grease. So the armature looks good. Okay, we can inspect the field. Okay, it looks good. For this one, of course, the easiest way what we can do is to clean the edges of here of the metal plastic, so there will be no need to replace it. So, okay, okay, of course, they clean it. Okay, so for now, know that we need a new plug the new switch the carbon brushes we need to grease the ball bearing here okay okay so we will do that later when we will assemble the tools so putting everything back in the box because now we need a space on table because the, the hammer housing is coming here okay so I will clean the table a little bit. Okay, first of all we can check the ball bearing here, so it's really good if it's wobbling more than one millimeter or two millimeters so that's bad you can, you need to change the ball bearing here so now we need to unscrew the four screws here of course they are full of dirt so we need to clean them to get a bit inside okay okay Fuck the fucking fuckers, fuck the fucking fuckers. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. It's slowly, but it's going out. Okay. And now, I will try to unscrew. Okay, the fucking lazy drill. Okay, I'll use the extension for this one. Okay. This one is going. Okay, fuck. I can break my tool in that. I will use the Allen key. You touch here as always, as usual. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, it goes. Okay, 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 so now I'll try to get it with the drill. Um, 
Okay. One is out. Second one. I will remove the switch here. It's a folding ring here, so just taking it out and taking out the switch or button. Okay, checking it here. We had no bear and tear, so now it's on heavy, so it looks good. Okay. Yo, 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 so <coughs> I'll take some paper and can remove all the plug here. Okay, how easy it is. Yeah, I will disconnect the connection rod. Okay, so Checking the housing itself, it really looks good. Just putting inside the box, okay. So now we can see that it's getting flattened, so we need to replace the O-ring, definitely. Okay, I think I will put it here on the paper. Okay, the spring. Good, okay, the gear, we need to check it from the cracks, because sometimes the cracks or the gear teeth here are damaged, so we need to check it, now it's good, I'm wrapping it to the same paper, okay, there's the fucking hammer, okay, uh, when hammer fall out like that, it's a bad sign for you, and for the, the hammer or the rotary drill, okay, because it's no compression, we can see why the green o-ring is completely flat, so we need to replace it. Okay, it's a hammer inside, we can take out the ring, it's a pins here, so they fall out and I can see immediately that I need a new pin here. Okay, I will try to clean it, to show it to you. Okay, you can see how it goes, it's not a, here, it's not a straight, it's, I have a bump, the big bump here, so that's very, very bad, so we need to replace it. Okay, now we can see that it's still was really working, not giving a shit, okay, the gear is good, the second gear is good, so, I think now we can remove the cylinder, so just separate them, okay, sometimes they are going easy, sometimes not, most of the times not, so, okay, I will try to do that with the hand, Fuck how hard it is. Okay, the grease, grease is everywhere, everywhere is grease. Grease, 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 it's a great country. Okay. So. I will try to slightly hit this corner with a, a hammer. Okay, yes, fuck yes, how good it was, okay, so, now what we want to see in this part, we want to see the hammer, it's inside here, okay, I will push it out, okay, okay, so it's out, 
of course we need to check the ball bearing here is it wobbling or not not it's working really good so now it's time for a flat washer fuck flat washer we've seen the flat washer before okay so 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 yo of course the o-ring here is flat needs to be replaced the hammer is in the middle of the bearing out so I think we can replace it okay checking the rubber ring here for the cracks it's good it's soft we cannot replace it okay so fuck now it's everything is good we are done with Hitachi DH4MR rotary hammer drill it's a great tool we need to replace the Block for it, the switch, the carbon brushes, o-rings, the hammer, the grease, the pins for the cylinder and it will run for a long time again, it's really really great tool for a great price I think, definitely it's worth preparing. Okay, so thank you for watching, this was a easy the assembler, problem fine for the Hitachi tool, of course almost same as for I don't know many many other brands tools models so just okay don't be afraid to disassemble your tools yourself if you don't know something or have a questions feel free to ask me okay for now thank you and bye see you in my next video